welcome back to glory homemaker thank you for stopping by in today's video i'll be making a kind of soup vegetable soup you can see my water leaves very fresh they all go the pumpkin leaves also very fresh from the farm i have crayfish stockfish red and yellow scent pepper this pepper is very good for your nigerian soups I have onions i've diced the pomo washed and diced it with hot water then I have the panla fish and the dry catfish. So let's get cooking. So first we'll season the meat. We'll be using beef for this recipe. But before then I'll add in the pomo, the cow skin. I'll add in the stock fish. These three has the same cooking time. And I add in the chopped onions. Add in two cubes of seasoning, break it in. I add in salt. You need very little salt for this recipe. If you overdo your salt, it cannot be undone. Please add minimally and taste as the time goes on. There it's in. This soup doesn't require any water. I wouldn't be adding any water to this. The vegetable soup we are making doesn't require any water at all. I'll just mix the ingredients in. The beef will release its own juice. I cover and start cooking as we get back to it later. The meat is boiling well now. You can see it released some water. So I'll just gently stir in. The water released will not cook this beef till tender. So I'm going to add in a little water. The secret to this soup is little or no water. So you add in little that will be enough to cook your beef or your meat till tender. Don't add more than enough. Add little by little per time till the meat gets tender. Cover the meat to keep cooking. Time to wash the ogu leaves. I add in salt. This is quite a quantity. I add in water to top it. And I have to wash it very well off the dirt, the sand. As I wash, I transfer into a sieve. I will have to repeat this process for three to four times. Same process for the water leaf. The salt will help get rid of the germs. And wash it well. Doing this process three to four times so that you won't be chewing on any sand. Transfer to a sieve to drain out the water. Cut on the ogo now. I always prefer to cut my vegetables at home. It's healthier. I'm going to cut this as tiny as much as possible I'm still slicing the ovo now time to slice the water leaf cut into tiny pieces as much as you can the tinier the better I'm through slicing the water leaf. It took a while, but it's worth it. Let's get back to the meat. Over here, the water is almost dry. This soup doesn't require any water because the water leaf will bring out lots of water. There's almost no water in this now. I'll go ahead and add in the blended crayfish, pepper, and onions. I add in palm oil. This soup needs lots of palm oil. So please, if you don't like palm oil at this point, just close your eyes. I stir them in. I always say that your palm oil is very important for your Nigerian soups. You don't make all your efforts and spoil them with a bad palm oil. I add in the dried mala fish and catfish. I've washed and the boned it. And I stir in. I cover the pot and allow the palm oil to cook for five minutes. We need to get rid of that raw taste. 
five minutes later wow the oil have sizzled in well communicated well enough with the fish the fish has released its flavors so we'll go ahead and add the water leaf first i'll be adding the water leaf first the water leaf serves as the tenderizer for this soup to make it thicken a little bit because it has water and it will bring out some water I stir in I cover this to cook for two minutes two minutes later this is sizzling in well the water leaf generated a little bit of water so I didn't need to add water in the first place so that the water will not be too much because this soup doesn't require any water at all now we'll add the ogo the pumpkin leaves and I mix them properly please subscribe to my channel to support me please also like and share this video I have to stir this in properly so that it will be well mixed with the water leaf and the meat and the fish I have to taste for salt now mine came out perfect you can adjust yours if need be vegetable soup doesn't require much salt if not you will not enjoy it at all I'll cover this to cook for two minutes I don't want to overcook the vegetables and I'll get back to it two minutes later I'll stand now and take it off the heat This soup is ready now and transfer it out to cool down so that the vegetables will stop cooking. Our deep frying for soup is ready. I hope you replicate this and let me know how it came out for you in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.